text-to-video generators like Sora are really cool, but they're not useful to most people on a daily basis. Synthesia's text-to-video generator, on the other hand, will help you save time at work, make better videos, and maybe, just maybe, get you a raise. Imagine this scenario. It's 4 p.m. and your boss asks for a presentation for the next day. You spend the next three hours working on it, you write out a nice draft, but it still looks ugly. Now you're not a designer and you don't want to watch another two hour tutorial learning how to polish up your presentation to make it look nice. But then you come across a tool called Synthesia. You drag and drop your boring PowerPoint and in a matter of seconds, you have a professional looking video presentation. You send it to your boss and let's just say they're impressed. The next day, they congratulate you on the great presentation. You become employee of the month, you get a raise and they even decide to promote you straight to CEO. Hey everyone, my name's Alec, and today you're going to learn how to create professional video presentations using Synthesia's text-to-video AI. So, I've got this presentation, but as you can see, it's very boring. All of the information is there, but the aesthetic is not good, and I can't go and show this to my boss. I need to, you know, spice it up a little bit, but I don't want to take hours doing this. So what I'm going to do is head to Synthesia, and by the way, the link is going to be in the description for you to follow along. And on Synthesia, within my dashboard, all I'm going to do is click on AI Video Assistant. And here, AI Video Assistant then guides me through the creation process of a better video presentation. At the top here, as you can see, we've selected File. Now, now all I'm going to do here is click on drop to upload and select my presentation and open it up. But I just want to show you that if you didn't have a video presentation and you wanted to create it from a blog post, you could go ahead and post the URL. You can also actually just type out the kind of video presentation that you want from a prompt. So it's basically the chat GPT for professional video or if you have a word for word script that you want to be said in your presentation. So let's say you've already prepared everything down to a T except the actual visuals. Well, you could upload your script. But for this one, I want to turn my boring PDF presentation into an engaging and exciting video presentation. So I select file, I've uploaded my presentation. Now, the next thing we have is templates. And in the templates, we actually have a bunch of different styles that our video presentation could look like. So you can scroll through and choose the one that you feel is most fitting for either your presentation or your company's brand or your own personal brand and you go through and you select the one you like. And one of my favorites is actually the default template at the top. And if I click on it, you can actually see, I can then see all of the different scenes that could be in my video. And essentially what this means is that from my PDF presentation, it's going to recreate the most fitting scenes for each section. And so all I have to do here is click use template. And now below templates, we have the brand kit. And brand kit is essentially the colors, the fonts and the avatars and the logo that your presentation is going to use. So you don't have to go onto every single scene and adapt everything to your specific colors. It will do it automatically for you. So as you can see here, I've got a couple of different brand kits, but I just want to show you if I go back to my dashboard and I click on brand kits on the left here, we can actually go ahead and create a brand new brand kit. And within here, you can see that you can add your logos, you can add your specific fonts. You can choose the avatar that you most like for your presentation or for your brand or your company. You can also then go and choose the colors and then based on the amount of colors you add from your brand, you can then create different color themes for your presentations. And that is essentially what a brand kit is. And this is a part that saves you a ton of time because you're essentially templatizing the aesthetic of your video presentations. And so you merge the brand kit with the templates and you get a very consistent look every single time. And so if I just go back to the AI video assistant, for this video, I'm going to be using Synthesia's brand kit. Next, for the length of the actual presentation. Now my PDF is only a few slides, but I might want it to go more in depth or I might want it to skim through it pretty quickly. So here I can actually choose and adjust the length of the video presentation. And so I think it's important to cover all of the information. For the amount of slides I have, I'm going to choose three minutes. I think that should get through everything quite nicely in a decent amount of time. And now below this here, we've got a few different options. So first of all, we've got the objective. And now the objective is basically the goal of your video presentation. So for example, in this context, I'm explaining the short strategy to my manager. So I could literally type that out and tell the AI what the goal of this video is. Once I've got my objective, the next thing I'm going to choose is the audience. And the audience is my manager. 
So I'm literally just going to tell the AI my manager. And then next we've got language. And so obviously here I'm just going to select English. But if you were having this presentation in another language or you wanted it in multiple languages, you can very well do that. And then finally, the speaker, I'm going to choose a YouTube expert here because I want the video presentation to be talking from the perspective of a YouTube expert. I've given them all of the information on the PDF document and combining that information with the AI's perspective of talking from a YouTube expert, I think we'll get a really good presentation. And then tone, I want it to be friendly and informative. And now what I do is just click create outline at the bottom. And the great thing about Synthesia's AI Video Assistant is we are generating a video from our PDF slides and text. So we're converting the PDF to video, but before we actually get the final video, we get an outline. So essentially there's a middle step that allows us to make sure that the video is gonna turn out the way we want it to. And so as you can see here, I've got the outline and we've got six different chapters. So I've got the first chapter, which is essentially explaining the power of YouTube Shorts. Then we've got the current performance snapshot. So we're going over the numbers and I'm gonna blur this out in the video, by the way. And then we've got specific targets and we're essentially going through all of the information in an order that I quite like. But let's say we were missing something or I didn't like one of the sections or I realized, oh no, I need to change something. Well, I could very well go into any of these chapters and either first of all, just delete the entire chapter or I could adjust any of the text. So if I didn't like this line, I could very well just remove it but I'm gonna put that back because I actually quite like this exactly the way it is. And if I wanted to, I could even add in a completely new chapter. But once I'm happy with the outline and once you've made the changes that you want to, all you have to do is go and click create video. And now from the outline and your PDF presentation, Synthesia then goes through and creates an entire video with different scenes based on all of the information that you gave it. And so now you'll notice if I scroll all the way back up to the top, we've got all of the different scenes with the spoken word and all of the information that actually appears on screen. And the really cool thing, and I'm gonna show you this, is if we click on continue in editor, we've then got our entire presentation within an editor and we can customize every little thing about it. But first, let's just preview it a little bit. Imagine a world where your content reaches thousands in mere seconds. YouTube Shorts are revolutionizing video consumption, offering quick wins if executed correctly. Our strategy? Fewer high quality shorts that captivate and engage. And so as you can see, we've got an engaging presentation breaking down the short strategy that I need to share with my boss. But you might have noticed one thing is that the avatar's mouth wasn't actually moving. And don't worry, this is because the avatar mouth movements only generate and lip sync to the spoken word within your video once you've finished and you actually click generate. And the reason it does this is actually quite smart. And this is because everything within the editor is customizable. So for example, my presentation here started off with the words, imagine a world where your content reaches thousands in mere seconds. I actually don't like this line that very much. So I can just delete it and edit it. And you'll notice that if I preview it again, YouTube shorts are revolutionizing video consumption. As you can see, it's gone. I'm editing the voiceover in real time. So again, if I didn't like revolutionizing, I could just put changing. YouTube shorts are changing video consumption. And this is one of the most efficient ways to create video presentations because you're actually editing the content in real time and you're not actually having to sit in front of a camera, nail the take every single time in front of your microphone, repeat the bad takes. And when it comes to editing, you might actually realize that you said the wrong thing that you didn't know when you were recording. And so in case I actually need to update these numbers or I did make a mistake, it's very easy for me to fix. And now on the left here, we've got all of our different scenes. And essentially this is our presentation that's broken down into different scenes. And so each scene has its own little voiceover. So you'll notice if I go to the second one, we saw that this was the voiceover right here. And all of the text came in at different times. And this is because it was animated thanks to triggers. Now essentially triggers are very simple. If you want a certain part of the text to appear at a specific time within your script, all you have to do is adjust it. So for example, here we've got this move in trigger for the AI and tech focus, focusing on AI video and tech topics to rank. We want this to appear when we say AI. We can also then adjust that animation. But if I wanted it to appear in a little bit earlier, I could just drag this and place it on the word focusing. And now it will appear on focusing. So if I preview it. Shorts are the fastest growing video format, but they require real effort. By focusing on AI, video, and- As you can see, it came in earlier. Same thing if I wanted to delay the rise of shorts, I could actually drag this and make it come in a video format. And I press play. 
Shorts are the fastest growing video format, but they require real effort. As you can see, it came in later and it was synced up with the word video format. And so triggers are a great way to easily add animations to your presentation, therefore making them more dynamic and engaging and easier to follow and consume. Because with regular PDFs, when you arrive on a scene and you've already got all of this information, you're like, whoa, this is too much. You don't quite know where to look. But Synthesia's AI is automatically making it very digestible for you. So you're going through each point one by one. And again, that is done automatically. We don't have to do anything here in terms of editing. Now, the next thing you'll notice is that there's some B-roll on a lot of different scenes. So for an example, if I did want to replace this, it's very easy to do. All I have to do is click on it and then I go to replace video in the right and then I just search for the type of video I want. So if I wanted something more related to YouTube, maybe I could just search YouTube and I might want to have this little logo on the side right here. And so now I preview it. To achieve this, we must invest time in ideation and quality production. Perfect. I just want to mention these watermarks that you see here, the Getty image watermark, you'll notice that when you click generate, that also disappears as well. And so everything on these scenes are truly customizable. Okay, I better change that back. Let me just hit the undo button. Again, what? we need bigger targets. Okay, of course. Well, very easy for me to do. I can just go in, adjust the text and change the targets. Easy. And there's a lot more that you can actually do with Synthesia. At the top, we've got all the tools we need. So if I wanted to change the avatar, I could go and find some of the other avatars within Synthesia. All of the avatars with the little purple icon means that they are expressive avatars. And this means that they adjust their facial expressions, voice and demeanor based on your script, which is really cool. And that's why earlier on, we wanted to give the AI the kind of tone of voice that we wanted for our presentation, because the avatar is now going to adopt that tone of voice as long as we have an expressive avatar. We've also got spaces, and this is essentially an easy way to quickly make your video look pro if you wanna place your avatar in front of a background. And if we wanted an office setting, I could just type office and we've got a few different offices. And then we can also just add some text. We've got shapes, we've got media. So again, we can go and find some stock footage, but we can also upload our own media. So if you've got your own images, your own videos, you can go and do that. And then finally, we can also record using Synthesia's AI screen recorder if we wanted to demonstrate some real time data from a specific dashboard or if we wanted to show a quick process of a specific tool. Very, very easy to do. And the very last thing I like to do is actually add scene transitions between every single one. And I either just have a very quick fade or a wipe left. And then after that, I just make sure to add some music. And here I just search for tech. I like this one, tech nostalgia. And then I just make sure I apply that to all by clicking change all. And that will then have music throughout my entire video. And I like to keep it at 10% because I want it to be very, very subtle, but just another way to make my video presentation look pro. And then once you've finished converting your PDF to an engaging video presentation, all you have to do, like I mentioned earlier, is click generate in the top right corner. And here we've got a title that's been generated by AI. If we want, we can change that. We can also then go and add a description. And you'll also notice that we have specific chapters and they've all got specific chapter titles. And if you wanna make changes to these, you can, but I'm just gonna leave as is. And then below that, we've got the option to burn in captions. And so burning in captions basically just means that if you want the captions to be baked into the video file itself, you toggle this on. But if you don't, Synthesia's video player will still give you the closed captions. So you can toggle them on and off if you want to. And so if I click generate, Synthesia has now converted what once was a boring PDF into a powerful video presentation that we can preview right here. And so if I click play. YouTube shorts are changing video consumption, offering quick wins if executed correctly. Our strategy, fewer high quality shorts that captivate and engage. Shorts are the fastest growing video format, but they require real effort. As you can see, we've got our engaging video presentation. And now I can still do a few magical things here that are gonna save me hours of time and that my boss is gonna love me for. First of all, I can actually just publish this video and copy the link and then send this link straight to him so he can go and watch this video. If he has any questions, all he has to do is drop a comment in the comment box down below and that will leave a timed stamped comment. And so your boss might say, I love this part. And as you can see, it then comments at 17 seconds. So I comment on it and we've got that timestamp comment. 
Or, or it could be feedback because I made a mistake in the presentation. But it's got a timestamp so I know exactly where he's referring to. He doesn't need to give me all that annoying context beforehand. And then a really awesome thing is that we're going to take this strategy international, right? We're going to go worldwide with it. So what I could do is then just translate the video and select the language that I want to translate it into. So this could be French and translate it. And now I've got the exact same presentation, but all of it's in French. And when I say all of it, I mean the voiceover and the text on the screen. And so that is how to get a raise at work. Sorry, I mean, that is how to make amazing video presentations with Synthesia's AI text to video generator. If you're interested in converting your PDFs to video, and you want a personalized walkthrough, click the first link down in the description below and then click on book a demo and someone from the team would love to show you how to use the tool. If not, you can just go ahead and try it out yourself for free. And if you're happy with your boring PowerPoints, the least you can do is leave me a like. Thanks for watching. Any questions, by the way, comment and subscribe.